Over the years, I've changed my mind a few times about my favorite color, but I always come back to black. I like red and I like blue and then maybe white. I guess I like all of the colors of the rainbow, but I'm just not very partial to orange and purple. Anyway, I mean, I do like those. Well, yeah, I mean, I paint with those sometimes. They're pretty, but... You'll see black more than any other color in my paintings. Um, and I'm going to tell you a story about why. So when I was four, there were eight colors. We had the rainbow, black, and brown. That was it in a box of Crayola crayons. Uh, my favorite teacher of all time was my kindergarten teacher, and she taught me my colors using this box of Crayola crayons. She taught me to color an apple red, a tree trunk brown, green leaves, you know, but when it came to black, she really changed my life uh, with her explanation. She told me to fill a white cloud in with black crayon on the day we learned black. And I was trying to rationalize that as a four-year-old, you know, why is she having me color in this white cloud with a black crayon? You know, it made no sense to me because I had never seen a black cloud. In fact, the darkest cloud I had ever seen was a shade of gray. And she says, hey, storm clouds are black. You definitely should color this black. So I did it. She was an adult. I had to follow her rules. But I realized something that day. Adults lie. So immediately I wanted to be an adult. I too wanted to create illusions. I wanted to lie, you know, visually, on paper. I wanted to pick the colors. I also always wanted more colors. <laughs> I'll never forget the time I got a box of, you know, 64 or 68 crayons, however many it was. And then one day Crayola came out with like over 100 colors and I was just blown away. I always had to have the newest box of Crayola crayons, which is really funny to think about in a modern world with so many art supplies available to us. Definitely don't want to take those for granted. <laughs> so anyway, a lot of people don't know about how deceptive black is and how it works with our eyes, but our eyes actually see black as negative space, like dark matter or something. If you have a bright blue sky and a green landscape, and then right at the horizon you draw a black line, no one will even really realize that black line is there because our mind just separates it from everything else. Um, so black really interests me. The deception, the way that our eye can see it but can't see it um, is just so magical, isn't it? Black. So anyway, that's step one to being an artist. Become an adult and start lying. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this drawing. It's actually a part of a coloring book that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to make a digital version so everyone can color it in with paint or whatever sort of digital program you like. I only decided to start creating coloring books in February of this year, but I've got about 15 pages so far. Um, each page takes over three hours to create. Um, you have to go over your lines twice, and you can see that in this video. I cut it a million times to save you all that drama. Yeah, I'm really excited about getting this coloring book out there. Um, and I'm excited to see if people like it. Thanks for listening, and I encourage everyone to get out today and do something creative.